All right, people, today I am coming with you or at you with the MSG 39 multi turret unit. And as you can see, I bought quite a few of these. Um, these normally come with a set of too small and too large, but I really like this piece and I bought a whole ton of them. Uh, that said, with the Gundam GBN base, looking cool with the wrist mounted uh, turrets and a back mounted artillery cannon array so a nice battery of very large shells coming down and hailing on your enemy uh, these are 1 100 scale so actually i think they're um more scale to the 144 but uh at least in terms of sizing but then again they are battleship type weapons so maybe the ships that bear them are a little bit smaller that said i don't think that's much larger than what would be normal on a on a gundam like this size these might be a little bit bigger but have you seen gun cannon that guy has some mega sized turrets so i don't know all right saku 2 here with the uh with the hand mounted version uh not exactly uh ideal i don't think but hey you know you gotta do what you gotta do these guys are gently sitting in his hand but even that is prying these two apart and i wonder if that's from taking them apart and putting them back together over and over again so yeah these guys are in his hand and they don't look so great in this mode, but it is an option for your uh, high grades, possibly master grades, if they need that extra firepower. Alright, Jinrai has the shoulder mounted dual cannon and a couple on his calves here. Ideally, I would mount them on his hips, but I think the uh, there are no 3mm ports there, which is kind of odd. I didn't realize that before. Normally I think this guy is covered in them, but I forget that there are armor bits that are a little bit more prevalent than uh, what I remember from the first time seeing him. Alright Jinrai, thank you very much. Alright, introducing my Alto, which is a little bit customized with one of the customized packs. I forget which one, I think it's commander type. I will have to look that up to verify. That said, here he is with a couple of these huge turrets on his shoulders. They do make him look a little bit smaller than he probably is at 144 scale. He is a shorter one than um, the Gundam and the uh, Saku. Not by much, but there is a difference. So one of the smaller things that I'm going to have here on the reviews. Alright, and so... Adding him to the mix, I think, with the 3mm ports all over this type of model kit, I think we're going to have a happier result with some customizability. Uh, I forgot to do the Roy Roy. <laughs> all right. And one of the cooler aspects of these little kits is they have these little skittering bots that run around on the battlefield to help you out when you're in your big mecha. And... Uh, bring you some ammo bring you some weapons i think i found a win in terms of look i can even mount that on top of this weird head i'm not sure exactly how that's normally used but let's see if it focuses on it very dusty i need to clean that guy off all right just the shoulder mounted here with architect just doing a run and showing off what that looks like a little big for this girl, I think. It's a little silly, in my humble opinion. Alright, Magical Girl has lots of 3mm ports to put these into. Uh, she does have them all around her skirt as well, but I opted for just the legs and arms. Uh, she does look rather funny with these on, and I think it's a hoot. And another new face. Uh, this is Hexagear Governor Bianco? Not Bianco. Oh man, what is his name? 
I'm going to put it in the uh, video on a text. Uh, I forget what this guy is called all the time. Uh, Nero, I think. Nero Knight type. I think so. Uh, so Nero here is holding one in his arms, in one of his hands, and he's got a couple more mounted on his back to his size and scale. Those are probably big, huge, beefy guns, but he can manage them on those stubby little legs of his. So I'm going to go ahead and continue putting this guy in as long as uh, I don't have a vehicle for um, the Hexagear line. That should be, I have another girl kit to build. That is the uh, uh, Alice Megami device. And then I will try to build the Voltrex, which should be a fun one to build. And I will be able to put these types of weapons on the Voltrex as well. Uh, until then, and possibly even after, for the hand, more handheld types, I will continue to use this guy. Okay, at this point, I'm really wishing this guy had some 3mm ports. I really kind of want to drill some in and just port these to it, because they do look pretty good with the um, overwhelmingly large size, and uh, they just look stupid in handheld mode. <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to leave that where it is and, uh, just talk about the weapons themselves now. A pack of these contains two large cannons, the two sidings you see here, two of these mounts, and two of these handholds, and that's one for each arm, uh, so you get a left side and a right side. Uh, it also comes with two of the smaller cannon and two of the sidings for those as well. I don't know why it doesn't zoom in proper or focus proper uh, that said you can see I bought three sets at least I think I have one more that I did not build and I think no wait one two three four five six seven eight so yeah I do have four sets of these um, while they do look great on these mecha they aren't exactly uh, amazing in universe, I think. Uh, they are looking more like battleship cannons than anything. I think for the Izumo and the Congo, that would be a lot smarter. But I really, really like these things. That's why I kept buying them. I do have an Izumo, and I wanted to uh, paint and match this with the aesthetic I went with on that ship. Um... I got them for $7 a set, and with that I bought four of them. I obviously think they're a good enough deal to go ahead and pick up more than one of. Um, the look is pretty incredible. You can tell that I actually did do some work to clean up these things compared to some of the other sets that I really don't love. Um, but they are very pointed in where you can use them very situational they don't work on everything as big as a boy this is i think with some shoulder mounts that would work a little bit better maybe some porting on the back that would be a little bit smarter but he doesn't really have the necessary holes for these um, so we're gonna go ahead and close this one off and say i love these I think they worked really well on the 30 minute missions, on the frame arms, on, I even think they worked out good on the Chaos and Pretty, so the Megami device would probably work very well, but they aren't perfect. They are very situational in my opinion. Uh, that said, I still recommend you go get some, and thank you for watching.